do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello friends today we are starting another topic in cable and suspension bridge today we are seeing a 3 hinge stiffening girder introduction and their problems let's see in details what are the stiffening girders now cable suspension bridge and 3 inch stiffening girders let's see what are the girders look like and what is the uses of the girders now see this is your cable okay now this is your cable i'm just first draw the diagram now see friends girder is nothing but now where we use the girder now what is the use of the girder we are using cable in cable we are using the girder where the long span is there if if we have to construct a bridge at at very long distance at that time we cannot directly resist with the cable at that time we can use the suspension is that can we can use the suspension girders over here that's why when we are solving the sums of the large span of in question you have given girder is using for the large span as you all knows okay now girder is look like this as you see in some bridges are look like this this are nothing the girders for large span we can use the girder in, in exam you have given the question solve the by using three hinge stiffening girder of the large span sums okay now in that we have the, we have to follow the certain steps also now this we are kind fba of this is your ground part over here and this is your stiffening girder part these all are the suspenders these all are the suspender this is a main cable over here but the main agenda of this topic is to understand where we are using the stiffening girders the main agenda of this question is this now we are using a stiffening girder for the large span because we cannot resist directly by the cable cable is using only for the small spans okay now let's start with the sum that you can better understand over here okay now now let's start with the question number 6 of this topic question number 1 the 3 hinge stiffening girder of a suspension bridge of span 120 meter now see this span will be 120 meter over here okay uh, is subjected to a two point loads of 250 kN and 300 kN this is 250 kN and 300 kN these are the point loads at a distance of 25 meter and 80 meter this is 25 meter 80 meter from the left end means from the left end 25 meter and from the left end is 80 meter over there okay now find the shear force and bending moment we have to find the shear force and bending moment find shear force and bending moment for the girder at a distance of 40 meter now see this distance is important at a distance of 40 meter we have to find the shear force and bending moment of the left end from the left end the supporting cables has a central dip of 12 meter the central dip will be 12 meter find also the maximum tension in the cable and draw the bending moment diagram for the girder now let's start with this sum now first we will see the what are the steps we can follow in this types of sums now let's see this problem steps first the steps in three inch stiffening girder will be first we have to find the va and vb considering See, please remember this things considering 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 the stiffening girder as a simply supported beam okay now we have to find va and vb now to find h after that then we have to find the equivalent udl is nothing but we as you all knows in cables in cables the all the overall udl is there because of it is cable T max. After that, we have to find shear force calculation at 40 meter, bending moment calculation at 40 meter, then bending moment for the girders. In all the types of all problems in this types, this steps we can follow. Okay. Now let's start with the solution first. Now this is a solution. Now start with the solution. First, what we have to do? First, draw the diagram.
Uh, see friends, this is a diagram. Now let's read once again the questions and just see the diagram is correct or not. Now first the C. The three inch stiffening girder of suspension bridge of span will be 120 meter. We have drawn this span of 120 meter over here. Now is subjected to a two point loads of 250 kN and 300 kN at a distance of 25 meter and 80 meter from the left end. See these are the two loads. This is the two loads and this distance will be and difference and this distance will be also difference. Okay. Now this distance is nothing but given over here is 25 meter from the left. This distance will be 25 meter from the left and 80 meter from the left. This total will be 80 meter. Okay. This distance will be 25 meter and this distance will be 80 meter over here. Okay. After that. Uh, left hand find the shear force and bending moment for the girder at a distance of 40 meter from the left end. Let's see this will see when the time of solving the SFD and BMD. Okay. Now supporting cable has a central dip of 12 meter. Central dip will be means H will be 12 meter. Okay. H will be 12 meter. Now find also the maximum tension in the cable and draw the bending moment diagram for the girders. Now let's proceed now over here. Now see first we have drawn over here. This will find now we have to find the VA and VB. What now what is the VA and VB? Which one is VA? Now see, let's start with step one. Step one will be to find VA and VB. Now, when we have to find VA and VB in stiffening order, first what you have to do is write it over here considering. Considering the stiffening stiffening girder as a simply supported beam beam Now this is very important this you have to write in exam also considering the stiffening girder as a simply supported means means this part is your stiffening girder this part is your stiffening girder this line will be stiffening girder over here okay so we are treating as a simply supported beam now we have to find this VA and this VB not this VA and VB cable in also we have to find this also we will find after right okay now we are finding this VA and this VB and this will be V A dash V B dash as you all know in cable our H will be always outward. This is your H. Okay. Now now see this distance is 25. So this distance will be 80. Now this distance is nothing but 55 meter and this distance is 40 meter. This 25, this 55 and this. 40 meter over here now we have to find now see this we are considering as a simply supported in we are finding va and vb so take moment at a equal to zero clockwise positive taking moment at a equal to zero sign convention is clockwise positive okay now see clockwise positive means take a one rod and put it over here I just see this 250 kN is going downward so it will rotate like this this will moving in the clockwise direction so 250 into 25 250 into 25 after that the 300 is also going in this direction so clockwise 300 into 80 plus 300 into 80 after that this VB also come in the picture this VB this VB also come in the picture. So this VB into this VB into this distance is 120. So minus VB into 120 equal to 0. So your VB will value will be coming 252 kilo Newton upward. After that 
we are done with this vb part now we have to find va to find va as you all know after m we can apply summation m y so summation f y equal to zero upward positive okay upward positive so what will become this va va will also come in the picture so va minus 250 minus 300 plus 252 equal to 0 while solving this you get the value of va will be 298 kilo newton okay 298 kilo newton over here now we have done with this va and vb part after that we can apply the next step will be to find h h means what h we are finding we are finding this h now because we don't find in beam we cannot find o h over here we are finding this arch uh, cable h okay so to find h second step will be to find h to find h follow the sign convention this clock sagging positive hogging negative okay they can follow this sign convention now how will you find is bending moment bending moment at center of now we have to take the bending moment at the center of the girder now what are this what is the center of the girder is over here is the center of girder is this this one is center of the girder okay see this is your center of the girder so if if this is the center of girder this distance is nothing but 60 60 minus 25 this distance will come is 35 please listen carefully see i'm just drawing the fbd part over here see i'm just drawing see this distance is 60 meter and this distance will be so this distance will come 35 meters so when we are taking bending moment at c we are taking this side you will come 250 into 35 minus this va will be this va is 298 into 60 okay so what you are bending moment at c is equal to now you are taking bending moment over at c either you can take this side or you can take this side we are taking this side so what will become this is going upward so va into this distance is 60 so 298 into 60 minus 250 into 35 is it will get 9130 kilo newton meter okay now after that bending moment at ac will be done now we have to find at d also and e also why we are finding this two also because we have to draw the bending moment diagram at the end that's why you can solve write it now so bending moment at d is equal to now see you are taking bending moment at d either you can take this side or you can take this side we are taking at this side so this will come is va into this distance is 25 so 298 into 25 298 into 25 so this will come 7450 kilo meter after that bending moment at e will be you can taking bending moment at this over here you can take this side so this will come 252 into this distance is 40 you get the value 10080 kilo newton meter over here also okay after that draw the diagram of fbd fbd draw the diagram of bending moment diagram over here now see Now see we know this distance is 250 this is 300 this is 25 this is 30 uh, 35 and this is 40 over here okay sorry this is not 35 this is 55 okay uh, and this will va will be va will be what's the value of va will get va value will be 298 and vb value will be 252 okay this is a this is b this is is c this is uh, this one is your d and this is your e part now we have find this now see students we have done with this part now see either you can draw the diagram first then 
राइट दिस वन और यू कैन राइट फर्स्ट एंड ड्रॉ दी डायग्राम द बोस्ट यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड फॉर बेटर अंडरस्टैंड यू कैन ड्रॉ दी डायग्राम फर्स्ट वेल यू कैन सीन दिस ओवर हियर ऑल्सो यू हैव टू फाइंड बेंडिंग मोमेंट एट सी एट डी एंड ई ओके नाउ आफ्टर दैट ड्रॉ दी डायग्राम वॉट द डायग्राम विल कम ओवर हियर इज लाइक दिस जस्ट एक्सटेंड दिस ऑल पार्ट Now we got the value of in C. In C, we got the value is nine. Now see, first at at D, what value will come? Seven four five zero. It will come like over here. And in E will be one zero eight zero will be over here. And this part will be at this C over here. So this the diagram will like look like this. This is your bending moment diagram. It's not required to draw in the exam also, but but if you are drawing that you can understand better over here. Now draw the value over here, here and here. Now after that we are find. Now after that in this step we are finding the edge. Now how will you find edge? To find horizontal reaction, write it over here. Horizontal reaction at Each end of the cable. When you have to find the horizontal reaction at each end of the cable, at that time the formula will be H is equal to moment bending moment at C upon small h. This is the formula you have to remember in the exam. To find H bending moment at C upon small h, your bending moment at C value will be. C value will be nine one three zero divided by small h will be twelve. Okay, now you get the value h will be seven sixty point eight three kilo newton over here. Now you got the value of h over here, which is seven sixty point eight three kilo newton. Now friends, we have done with this h part. Now let's third step will be find the equivalent UDL is nothing but W E. Now we are come to the cable now. Now we have come with the cable part over here. Okay. Now our next step will be. This is your third step will be find equivalent UDL means nothing but W E. Now, what is the formula of H? Now, see, as you all knows in cable, as you all knows in cables, this this all suspenders are look like this. Okay, so because of this suspender, the cable is always loaded with UDL. This this suspenders is look like in the in the form of UDL over in all the time in the cable. So now we have to find this UDL value also over here. So now what we have to first see, as you all knows. We are now finding the UDL. This UDL is nothing but this cable UDL. Okay, so our H formula will be for the simply supported beam, supported at same level. H formula will be W L square upon 8H is their formula of H. Now we know the value of H. We know the value of H. H value will be 760.83. Okay, now we know the value of H value over here. Now we have to find this W. E. So put the value of all over here. Seven sixty point eight three is equal to W E. You have to find into L will be one twenty the whole square upon eight into twelve. This will come five point zero seven kilo newton per meter. This is the UDL intensity of the cable. Okay. Now after that we can find with the UDL also. Now we are find with the UDL also. Now we have to find this VA dash. Sorry, VA dash and VB dash. This is your VA. This is VA, and this is this one is VB. Okay. Now we have to find this. So as you all knows, the cable supported at same level. The formula will be. This is the formula. Remember, friends. This is the formula. Is the formula will be. W, we have to find VA dash is equal to VB dash is equal to WL by two. Simple formula: five point zero seven into length will be one twenty divided by two. It will come three zero four point three three kilo newton. Now put the over here three zero four point three 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 zero four point three three kilo newton. 
304.33 kilo newton now we have to find this this and this and this so after that in question we have given also to find the maximum tension in the cable now as you all know the maximum tension will occur over here now this will be resultant and this is your maximum tension as you all know the formula of maximum tension our fourth step will be fourth step will be to find t max as you all know the formula of t max will be t max is equal to under root v a sorry v a dash square plus h square not v a square you are not because we are t max we are finding the cable v a dash square plus h square your v a dash square value will be 304.33 the whole square plus h value will be 760.83 the whole square okay now after that while solving this you get the value of t max will be 819.44 kilo newton okay now we have to finding find the fourth step also over here okay now after that let's start with the fifth step now the fifth step will be shear force calculation shear force calculation for the girder see we are finding shear force and bending mode we are finding for the girders huh? please remember, remember carefully for the girders now write it over here for the girder okay now the formula will be shear force shear force at any any section section x we have given the value of x is 40 over here okay it's just a formula shear force at any section section x means shear force at x is equal to the formula will be beam shear minus h tan theta remember this is a formula students For any for shear to find shear force at any section, the formula will be beam shear minus h tan theta. Okay, where 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 tan theta is equal to tan theta equal to dy by dx. Okay. Now, as you all know, the value of y will be y is equal to 4h upon l square into lx minus x square. So, to dy by dx will be derivative of this will be 4h upon l square into l minus 2x. Okay. Now, we have to find, see in question we have given the, we have to find for the 40 meter from the left end. So, write out over here at, at 40 meter from left end we have to find the shear force at 40 meter from the left end at here at x is equal to 40 meter so tan theta is equal to 4 into 2l by 120 square into 120 minus 2 into 40 this will put it over here okay this will come 2 upon 15 okay now what about now we have to find the beam shear so beam shear is equal to now see for by beam shear you can take see the diagram we have to find the beam shear at 40 meter from the left means 40 meter will come something over here this is 40 meter okay we have to find the beam shear of the 40 meter so the value will come is see the value will come beam shear means what are the beam shear will come over here see this va and this 250 so the 298 minus 250 okay if you not got i'm drawing you can understand shear force we are taking a beam shear don't see the distance we are taking section over here and we are seeing this side and we have to find this beam shear so beam shear will come see this va will positive because of upward this will downward because of downward okay so minus because of downward so beam shear will be 298 minus 250 is equal to 48 kilonewton okay 
Now this is also come, this will come. Now put in the, put all in this equation. So shear force at x is equal to beam shear will be 48 minus H, H is nothing but 760.83 into H 10 theta. So 2 by 15. This is just your 10 theta is nothing but 2 by 15. So this value will come minus 53.44 kilo Newton over here. Okay. Now we have done with the shear force part. After that, let's start with the sixth, sixth step will be bending moment calculation. So our sixth step will be bending bending moment calculation okay now as you all know this also have one formula bending moment at any section is given by is given by c bending moment at x is equal to beam moment is not shear is moment minus h into y distance h into y okay now at at x is equal to 40 meter the y will be over here 4h upon l square into lx minus x square so put it over here don't differentiate over here in because in shear force we have formula will be tan theta and here is only y not 10 so please remember carefully here you cannot differentiate this equation directly you can use this 4 into h will be 12 now see what the h will be h will be 12 upon 120 square into 120 into 40 minus 40 square okay while solving this you get the value will be 32 by 3 meter okay now beam moment now beam moment beam moment at 40 meter from left end okay 40 meter from the left end so bending moment will come over here is c now we are taking 40 meter bending moment so this value will come 298 into this distance is 40 minus 250 into this distance is nothing but 15 because this is 25 now see we are taking b moment in b moment as you all know we have to take the distance so this into this distance is 40 minus 250 into this distance is nothing but 20 sorry 15 because it's 25 over here so this will come into 40 minus 250 into 50 this will come 8170 kilonewton meter after that apply in this formula so bending moment at x will be 8170 minus 760.83 is into 32 by 3 the bending moment at x will come is 54.48 kilonewton meter okay kilonewton meter okay now we have to this is bending moment that's a unit will be kilonewton meter over here now see we have done with this sixth step also now let's move into seventh step now seventh step our seventh step will be now see we have done with the shear force and bending moment part also now the seventh step will be actual bending moment diagram for now we have to take the actual bending moment diagram actual bending moment diagram for the girder okay now now see but where where distance is coming girder is this thing at distance 25 or this 80 and both of them are coming so write it over here at a write it over at a at x is equal to 25 meter from a y will be 7.92 meter now how will you find this 7.9 or simply apply the formula of y y is equal to 4 sorry y is equal to 4h upon l square into lx minus x square okay now 
your m will be bending moment will be beam moment minus h moment beam moment minus h moment okay so your beam moment is nothing but 298 into 25 minus 760.83 into 7.92 means what we are give, seen over here is we are taking bending moment over here so this will come into so sorry yeah we are taking bending moment at here 25 meter means here so this is coming into 25 this is sorry 298 into this distance is 25 after that minus h into this y distance this y distance we want this because it's a bending moment diagram for the actual girder both cable and the girder part okay so this will come 7.9 for you to find this simply apply this formula 4h upon l square into lx minus x square instead of x put the value of x will be x will be sorry x will be this x 25 put the x value will be 25 over here okay now after that by solving this you get the value will be 1424.23 kilonewton meter over here okay now let's start with the b part means means number of loads are there we have to find that load only for the girder di the diagram at x is equal to 40 meter from b y is equal to 10.67 meter now see when we are seeing this load we can take distance from here when we are taking this don't take distance from here because if you are taking distance from here this is also correct but it will be quite complicated so instead of seeing this side we have to see this side from b is nothing but one distance will come 252 something 252 into 40 that's it so as you all know the formula will be same so m will be 252 into 40 minus 760 760.83 into 10.67 after solving you get the answer will be 1961.94 kilonewton meter over here okay now we have done with this actual bending moment for the girder now last step will be draw the diagram bending moment diagram for the girder now, how will you draw the diagram it's very simple to draw the diagram of the girder okay now see here is coming some word will be 1424.24 kilonewton meter and this value will be 1961.94 kilonewton meter okay so now this is your bending moment diagram for the girder okay now bending moment diagram for stiffening girder now this is the actual bending moment for diagram for the stiffening girder or you can write this whole distance also what the distance will be 20 120 kilonewtons okay now we have done with this now we have done with this all these six to seven steps sorry seven steps been done okay now after that after that just see the question one time and just recall it uh, whether we have done all the part or not now see this is our diagram the three hinge stiffening girder of 120 meter spans the load we have done shear force bending moment at 40 meter we have to done and this maximum tension also we have done okay now we have done with this problem over here now this is the main diagram of this okay now we have done with this problem i hope you understand my video share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe the ekida channel thank you